Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Aquaman. Kaboom! Kaboom! Yeah, that was good. All right, so uh, pretty much our last episode, Atlantis was under attack again, and uh, Dolphin, Dolphin showed up. And yeah. And weird guy from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory is there. William Defoe. And now we have the people of the trench. Grr. So like, comment, subscribe, and Amber had a question of the day today. Question of the day! If you were Aquaman, which of the four, I guess now five oceans, would you live in? There's the Arctic, Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic, and apparently now there's a Southern Ocean. I just... Where did the Southern Ocean come from? Wasn't four oceans enough? Ah. Now there are five. I'm guessing at, uh, Aquaman lives in Atlantis because of the Atlantic Ocean, but I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, where would you live if you were Aquaman and you had to build your underwater city? Uh, I'd probably go to the Arctic Ocean. Really? Yeah, yeah, you'd probably get less people, like, bothering you there. Yep. Since you have superpowers, you probably basically would be immune to cold and stuff like that. That makes sense. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Why? Evil fish men. I feel like I'd want to go somewhere pleasant, like the Bahamas or maybe, like, I would say off the coast of California, but, eh, maybe, like, somewhere really nice. And California's by the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. 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 Could we're over by the Atlantic. Well, actually, we're in the middle yeah, of the Atlantic. Yeah, we're closer to the East Coast, so that'd be the Atlantic Ocean. Shark! But, um, yeah, I mean, like, if you wanted to go somewhere, I'm trying to think of which coast Argentina would be nearby because that'd be nice. Or, but maybe uh, that's now the Southern Ocean. I don't, I don't know. I, I would say like, well, if you're looking at Hawaii or something like that, then you'd be in the ah! Pacific what Ocean. in the world? Did you see that? You like vampired I, me. I never understand the Indian Ocean though. It's just like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he did vampire you. It's like. Everything south of India to Australia? I'm just so confused about that. I mean, I grew up thinking there were only three oceans, so I you mean... You know, originally I said there were two, Atlantic and Pacific. I thought there were just two oceans, but apparently there's the Indian Ocean and the uh, Arctic, which makes no, I've, sense. No, I've always known there were at least three. Oh, uh, Atlantic, yeah. Pacific, and Arctic. Yeah, and I then the Indian Ocean, I feel like, is just like... Not really an ocean. No offense. Maybe to... this is a different Earth. Never yeah, know. Yeah, but I thought on Google didn't they say they recently added the Southern Ocean? But how do you recently add something? I I don't. Just like they keep doing the Pluto thing. Like it's a planet. It's not a planet. It's a planet. It's I feel planet. so bad for the inhabitants of Pluto. You know, once we recognized them as a planet, and then they became a moon. Picture, now they're a planet again. Picture little aliens going, Yay! We're a planet now. Then, How dare you call us a moon? We're gonna invade you fools! Yeah, see? <laughs> and then, like, later we, we call them not a planet, and then they're sad. They're like, aww, and then... I thought recently they said they were a planet again. It's just so stupid. It's like, it's like this is what astronauts get paid- or not astronauts. NASA astrophysicists guys. or whatever. This is what astronomers and like, you know, space researchers get paid for. Scientists to sit around and go, let's call this a planet. Let's not. I mean, like, I couldn't believe, like, even in my school, in my school, like, for, um, for high school, you know, they used to say, like, oh, now, you know, apparently, you know, if you'd say this is his or her tennis racket. That's how we used to have to say it. Then they changed grammar, and they said, you can say this is their tennis racket, even though there's only one person. You say it, you use a plural word, there. The gr and then my teacher would say, oh, the grammarians changed it. It's like, who are the grammarians? What are you talking about? You can't change grammar, oh. but apparently you can change what planets exist. You can change It's just these people high up they have too much power, man. I don't know. All right, so that's me, my rant. I'm gonna do my best to explain what's going on if you guys and gals are lost. So what we're fighting is they're basically known in the comics as the people of the trench, but for this game, it looks like they're called oceanic, like creatures, and they are supposed to be mindless creatures that were originally humanoid people, and because they became evil with their hearts or something like that, their race basically turned into this kind of mindless uh. 
um, cannibal, they were scary... Elves once. Right! Exactly! There you go. <laughs> Dark elves. Basically, like, they used to be good, and then... Urukai. They, they became evil because of their hearts became Yeah, evil. something like that. Yeah. What and, you know, when people had to adapt the, the Atlantean uh, physiology to survive, they also adapted to their surroundings and they took the guise of fish creatures and they became even more... They never did learn to mind their surroundings. Yeah, there you go. Um, but I don't recall that the people of the trench were referred to that until the New 52. Like, I've seen those freaky fish creatures man creatures and you know aquaman cartoons and like comic books and stuff when i was a kid so i'm pretty sure they're not like a new and invention um just like well i mean a new invention for dc would be all the different lanterns that was a 2000s thing that wasn't when i was a kid you just had green lantern and you had sinestro sinestro didn't have his own core he was just a yellow lantern and people never really cared about it where the yellow lantern thing came from. It was just, you know, green lantern is weak against yellow, so let's make another lantern that's all yellow. Yeah. And they didn't plan out until much later all this other stuff, so I'm pretty sure that the oceanic creatures were the people of the trench until they got named the trench oh, kingdom or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, like, they were... Well, it makes sense, like, even when you're exploring things and... Like, explorers come out and they find, like, these oceanic creatures. You name it one thing, and then later when you find more about that people, then you would name it something else. You'd be like, oh, I thought these were just some crazy things wandering around. Then I found out there was a kingdom. Like, basically, like, you learn more. It makes sense, because you can learn more about them and give them different names as you learn more about them. So. Well, what we've learned about Aquaman stuff is there are seven kingdoms under the water, and supposedly two kingdoms have already been destroyed. And one kingdom is what's left of these things. And then you have the kingdom of Zebel, which is where Mira's from. Atlantis. Uh, the kingdom of the fish people that are, like, super intelligent and not warlike. And then I guess you would have, like, the, the crab people. And the lava people would be another kingdom. Yeah. But the, the lava people aren't in the movie yet, but... I mean, if they're really going to borrow from a lot of, uh, we'll say, Aqu Aquaman lore, it's hard to say. Then eventually, I think the, the Lava Lord will show up in something. Uh, and maybe they'll explain how they can do the stuff they do. Because I don't get it. But oh. Yeah, the way they do the things they do. No! No! They do the get off they do. me! Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, they're basically underwater orcs. I mean, that's all I can say about it. And they paint their toenails. Which is another thing about, basically, Lord of the Aquaman. <sighs> Lord of the Waters. I can't wait until they do an Honest Trailers and they call Aquaman Lord of the Water Rings. That's what I would give it the name. Because <laughs> I mean, all the sea battles, like all the kingdoms, <laughs> you know, fighting one another. And... Well, my, my thing is, if there are five oceans right now all you have to do is add two more oceans and then it, you'd have the seven seas right there but there are five oceans and seven seas oh yeah there, there are seven seas what are the seven seas i don't know oh wait are there seven seas in there are life? seven seas yeah oh ow never mind then i guess we're already set i never understood what the difference between ocean and seas are though they're both vast bodies of water it's like they decided, hey, we're just going to call this uh, an ocean and all this other stuff. We already did the four oceans, so uh, these are seas now. I don't know. Yeah. Man, this guy's annoying. Oh, he says ultra, that's why. Take Oceanic super move, fool. Roller, ultra. See how much better it is with super moves, though? It's like things are getting kind of crazy for the king to handle with all of these like complex button combinations, and it's like, okay. Combos are really easy to do what's known as uh, the maelstrom attack where Aquaman spins around like that and like You know acts like a fish. It's just um, over over a It's all it is so when I was like frantically moving the controller around before I would accidentally do it like during combat because I, yeah. I could only do like three hit combos I was like oh my gosh what's going on, but if I was like moving the joystick back and forth you would accidentally do moves but I was watching other people's footage of Aquaman because I was just curious what was going on. 
and I noticed all those people that looked at this game that said it was a terrible game, none of them had any accidental super move uh, footage at all. Wow, like, that's yeah. weird. So they would just push the same buttons over and over again? They didn't even, like, try to figure All they it out? tried, they said, you can just beat the game using three-hit combos, yet they didn't show any of the other parts of the game. I never saw ruins like this in their footage, never saw the lava men, didn't That's see weird. these fish creatures. Well, and usually for retro games, reviewers aren't shy about spoilers in their footage. They don't care because the game is, like, decades yeah, old or whatever. Yeah, it's almost like they didn't really play the game. They didn't beat it. They said they beat it, but oh, they didn't. Oh, I see. Mm. They couldn't have possibly beat it, because if they did, they would have shown that other stuff. See, if I did a Retro Monday on this, I would show people the different levels, yeah. show the different enemies, and that's the stupid explain thing. my grievances, and also teach people. One of the things I loved about Retro Mondays is I would actually teach people how to do something they didn't know. Like yeah. in uh, Return of the Ninja Master, the Shinobi game on Genesis, a lot of people who played that game as kids didn't realize they could block. So I told people, you know, that you could block, and they went through the game again and had a lot more fun with it because the game wasn't quite as difficult as they remembered because there was actually a way for the Shinobi to deal with all the crazy enemies. He could defend himself and go yeah. on both offense and defense. Aquaman is not a game where you just use combo-based attacks. He has super moves, and they are really good. So that blue bar that everybody says, oh, that blue bar is stupid. Why, why can't I collect those blue icons? It's because you never used your super meter. If you don't drain your super meter, then of course you can't pick up the blue Aquaman icons. But once you deplete your super meter, then yeah. So people were saying that you could never pick up the blue icons? Mm-hmm. What morons? Why wouldn't they figure out why? If we're saying it in a review as if it's like a glitch. And like, they're not oh. alone, though. I read a couple of reviews for Aquaman from 2003 recently, like this week. And the yeah. reviews back then actually weren't that long. I mean, it, if it wasn't like this massive paper, it was basically like a synopsis. It was just like one page. And it reminds me of the stuff that I used to do back in 04. Yeah. You know, that's how I was able to write so much for publications. They were just short synopsises, probably about uh, the first, we'll say, a couple hours of the game. Um, showing all the mechanics, and things like that. Just if keeping it very go, brief. If I wish I could go back in time and, like, encourage you to get a degree in journalism, and then you could easily work for those places, like, you know. I actually wouldn't even need a degree. A lot of those people don't even have one in journalism. Or I was... Re recently, there were some publications that reached out for me to work on that, but I'd have to abandon the channel, and they won't pay enough for to sustain us. Yeah, they don't really pay as much as... No, would, I, I, the thing is, I like, mean, I'm not, I'm not shy of saying that. If you, uh, if you right now, someone who's in college, if you were to get a journalism job in the industry, you would make, if you're lucky, and working like 70 hours a week, you might get about 15 to like 2100 a month, maybe, maybe. Wow, and that's 70 hours. Oh my god. It's whatever hours they tell you to work. It's terrible. And they can literally... It's not that you just look at, like, one game a week. You have to do... Uh, if you work for, like, a... Uh, if, if you're part of, like, the PlayStation team of writers or the Nintendo or whatever, you just don't divide up your games between a team of, um, like, four or five people. Usually the teams are much smaller now. Well, and you have to do, like, so much stuff. If you had an apartment on your own and you had to... Just you know, to the apartment, and then you were single, and then, you know... I haven't been single in my mind for, like, 16 years. So I, I don't know how to survive without you. I'm sorry. I, I don't have any plans that don't involve no, the both of us. No, I just meant if a person was single... I know. I, I, ha I have people who ask advice for me about, like, how they can live their life, and, like, in terms of, like, non-marriedness, my brain is just, like, off. Oh, I, I can't contemplate not worrying about another person, so, you know. That's very sweet. Yeah, you're a huge part yeah, of my I life. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm the same, though. Like, I didn't, I didn't really want, like, there was a girl asking me advice at my job about getting a roommate because she had to get roommates because she was going to college and she was nervous. And I never had a roommate except for my husband. Like, I never, well, no, I did have a roommate yes, for you a did. little bit. It didn't really go very well. No. And then they ended up not being able to pay very much of the rent. And, like, 
you know, like our hours were different and the person drove me nuts and I drove them nuts. So it was just like... That's what roommates are. I just... You just explained typical roommates. I didn't roommates. really like it. That, that's my... That's college for me right I there. I feel like room... If you're going to ah! live with someone, the only people I can, you know, live with would be family or my husband, you know, like get hmm. married and... Because I feel like to live with someone, you have to have true love with them to live with them because... True, wow. Because otherwise you're going to drive each other nuts. You have to have something, you know? You're not... It's just really hard to live with somebody else. It's very difficult. Oh, it's yeah. It's extremely annoying. Like, just look at the episode of Frasier when, when Niles tries to sleep in the same room as him when he has no place to live. And then Frasier ends up kicking Niles out because he can't stand living with his own brother. It's just like... If you go to sleep at different times, if one uses a giant fan, the other person doesn't. <laughs> Somebody has one temperature of the house, you have a different one. You, One of you want to watch TV, the other person wants the room to be quiet. It's so, it's so annoying to live with other people because they annoy you. It's so It annoying. took Amber a long time to get used to a fan noise, but I, I just want to, um, before I forget this, you notice how we're surviving a lot longer than we did before even the super moves? There's another thing that I learned that nobody ever talks about. Yeah. You can actually change direction. Do you have any idea where they came from? No, I have never encountered these creatures before. Uh, did you speak with them, Zaya? No, it was as if something prevented my telepathy from reaching their minds. Have you learned anything? Aquaman's voice just keeps changing. I can't. Yeah. We took the one you brought back and are holding it in the research facility for observation. Take care, Volko. There's still many unknown creatures from the ocean depths. They may be allies. I do not want you to judge an entire species by just one specimen. Of course, my king. Wow, he's mm -hmm. really a good king. Yeah, I, he's so... He wants to understand all the different people. He gives people the, the benefit of the doubt, it seems like. Yeah, and even when those people attacked him, he didn't retaliate. That was like, whoa. What have the science teams learned about our new friends? Ah, it's a barbaric, almost ancient aquatic creature given life and humanoid form by the arcane magics. Whoa. Whose control, uh, <clears throat> so perhaps uh, his control over them only extends to his powers. Whose control, my liege? Uh, who's, I guess that'll have to wait. Whose control? <laughs> Alert the guard. Have them send reinforcements. You can't take them all on alone, sire. Watch me. Wow. So hardcore. This is how Jason Momoa made Aquaman. Yeah, he, he went did. back, he played this game, and he was like, My man! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I want to see Jason Momoa play this. I do. <laughs> yeah. I want to see him play it. Should, we should tweet him online and be like, You need to play this game. Does he have a Twitter? He's definitely the type of guy that loves attending uh, the comic book conventions. I'll tell you something he did that is not just in character, but how much he loves his Justice League cast. Uh, yeah. During promotion for his movie at a comic convention for Aquaman, mm -hmm. somebody had a shirt that said something bad about Superman, and Aquaman got ticked. And Aww. he was like, uh, excuse me, sir, sir. And the guy's like, what? He's like, uh, do, do you have something against my Superman? You have something against my boy? And... You see Jason Momoa stand up, Whoa. he pulls the microphone, and he starts walking off the stage toward the guy. Oh my god. And everybody in, in and then he's just kinda like, I'm just playing with you, but he says, Kavil's the man. He says, Don't don't go dissing Superman. <laughs> you know? But I mean to see him, like he was in character. He was like angry as Aquaman. He was just like, Oh and he stood up and he, he walked out and you could just see like this this guy is ripped. Like yeah. Jason Momoa, he could like bench this house, you know? Um, and I, I love the respect that he has for his cast members, and also how he loves torturing them. Um, he said, uh, during promotion for Aquaman, he's talking about Ben and Kavil and, uh, Gal Gadot and all these other people in their superhero costumes, and he was like, what, uh, the question was, what type of movies do you prefer working on? Do you like the ensemble movies, the team-up things like Justice League? Or your solo movie where you're, you know, introducing more characters <laughs> from your stuff. And he was like, he says, well, both things are completely different experiences. But he says, honestly, he says, I'm a lazy guy. I want to do my work. I want to go home. I want to spend time with my wife. I want to grab something to drink and play with my kids. So with the ensemble cast, I don't have to do as much. 
Also, I get to torture Ben because I know he's a little claustrophobic when he puts the cowl on. <laughs> and, you know, he says that thing makes him super hot. And, you know, Gal Gadot doesn't like her Wonder Woman uniform. It, it's itchy. And, you know, the, the cyborg guy's just walking around in pajamas. He says, what I, what I hated is when they stick me out in the cold water. He says, I don't like that. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. So he says, I prefer the team stuff because then I don't have to work as hard. Yeah. And it's more fun. He said, I had a blast on Justice League. And he said, I had fun working on my own solo movie, but there was a mo more responsibilities for me. Yeah. And then they were like, so will you don those responsibilities for a second film if your Aquaman is successful? He says, well, I loved it so much. Whether or not it does well, I am game for another one. See, yeah. that is a good... That, that's, that's awesome. That's a great attitude to have, and Momoa is becoming one of my favorite DC actors. We haven't heard much from Ben Affleck anymore. He's just kind of disappeared. Sad Ben. Sad Ben. But I love the fact that he liked to torture his uh, cast members. Yeah, you know? definitely. Well, I mean, I feel All like... All in good fun. Doesn't he... I mean, what was his Aquaman uniform for the Justice League movie? Just him without a shirt? Gold and dark green. Oh, okay. I was like... like Bronze hear? armor. Oh, okay. Because Zack Snyder said he didn't like the traditional Aquaman costume. Oh. Okay. If he would have saw what Jane, uh, you know, what, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Juan. Juan, yeah. yeah. If, if they, if he would have seen what the director of Aquaman did and how they made that comic book accurate costume look awesome, mm -hmm. I think he would have taken back everything that he said about. Um, the colors of the DC costumes because they made it work for that movie. They didn't yeah, have to make definitely. Superman's costume look dark and depressing. Batman's costume works. You can use that. That is one of the best screen accurate Batman costumes that's ever been made. Yeah, I agree. I like that. It works for Batman. It would work in a setting where Momoa is wearing his Aquaman suit, where Gadot is wearing her brighter Wonder Woman costume from the 80s movie that she's working on. Yeah. And if they brightened up Flash's costume and they added more color and, like, uh, coolness to Cyborg's look, you can still get Ben wearing his dark, depressing Batman costume. It would work. It would balance out all the bright colors, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh. yeah I, d I definitely agree with that. But yeah, a, a lot of you guys watching our footage and stuff like that, how I'm surviving is, like I mentioned to Amber before uh, we had the stuff where we had to do voiceover for the lines, there's a button on the command cross where Aquaman can turn and face different enemies that are coming after him. You don't have to actually beat up an enemy, destroy them, and then wait your turn to fight another one. You necessarily can't engage two at a time, although there is a way to kick a dude behind you. It's just really challenging, uh, and it doesn't always work. It's something like backpack X or backpack Y, and it will drain your blue meter. But if you can connect a back kick um, using your super meter, it will send the the person like sputtering backwards. Like it'll kick them out of the frame. So it's a powerful kick, but it doesn't work. So I mean, that's a bug right there that um, a real reviewer would be able to make mention of, but nobody ever did. Yeah. And it's not hard. I mean, if you spend just a, like an hour or two, and then you read the manual that came with the game, it shows you how to do the super moves. So, Luke, when are we getting the next Retro Mondays, then? I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm, like, inspired enough. I mean, I think Aquaman might be fun I, to do. I have a lot of outrageous, like, stuff hey, going on in my head. I thought you said that one thing you like about Jason Momoa is he said whether or not something does well, he still wants to continue to do it. Mm. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I know, but he also gets a contract that gives him a lot of money, regardless of it's bad or good. Like, they have a oh. set salary. And, you know, sometimes That's there's an incentive. Touché. Right. So, I mean... That's a good point, but... I, it's a roll of the die every time I do a review. Even though I love it, mm, it's very dangerous for uh, the current but climate. If you just make no! them, like, a regular thing, like, why don't you just do them on Patreon, then? Mondays. Yeah, that might be. Stop hugging me. Uh, I'm just, I don't know why. It's like I throw all kinds of ideas out. You're uh, a great idea person. I think the Patreon thing is a great idea. You would just take 1% of our idea ideas. I know. Uh, I, I would be a millionaire by now. I know. Um, one, one other thing. Have you been noticing? You see the purple bar? What do you think the purple bar is for? I don't know. Magic powers. No. It's your block. 
hugging powers. The block is so broken in this game. Like, I think they never really understood it, but if you actually are managed to block both a magical attack or a punch, it will never drain your bar. Wow. I know. Well, wait, what do you mean? Like Their attacks don't weaken your, your block. So why would you need a bar then? I don't know. I think they just weren't thinking clearly. Or maybe you haven't discovered why. Maybe there's a secret reason why, Luke, and not, you haven't gotten far not enough. Not that I found. And also, I attack like constantly the fishmen and all the other characters because there's a, a few second delay before they can block. If mm, you can get Aquaman close enough, you can keep doing like little punches and kicks to chip away at their health. So, I mean, th there's lots of little things that I found just spending... How many days have we been on this game now? Like, this is our I third day? Know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, these creatures are pretty crazy. They're supposed to be creepy. Yeah, they're creepy like... Creepy crawlies. Yeah, I thought it was interesting that there's, like, all kinds of different peoples that live in different oceans because there's actually more... It's like three quarters of the world or something is covered with the ocean, so it's like... It's like there's more. I mean, potentially Aquaman could actually be more powerful than anyone else because, I mean, there could be more people living if if there were different kingdoms in the ocean. There could be more people living in the oceans than on the land. I would be there's curious to see Aquaman fight Superman in the water. I would be because while he's on uh, the surface, he is very strong. He can lift several tons. Um, you know, he has, uh, super strength, like, he can destroy an entire building if he needed to, uh, which they did show New 52 Aquaman as a powerhouse, and not a joke. Yeah. Whereas, if the Super Friends Aquaman were to punch a building, he'd probably break his hand. <laughs> you know? He yeah. just kind of controlled fish. Get over here! And I just felt like grabbing him. You just told the pole to get over here. I, you yeah, know. but why would Superman come down and fight Aquaman, though? Like, he'd have no incentive. Mm, Aquaman declares war on the surface world. Aquaman 2. Yeah, and then maybe he just is hanging out in the ocean like, oh, Superman's never gonna come down here. Like I told you in the previous episode, uh, Mira was so desperate to get Aquaman back from, like, this guy who usurped Arthur. Yeah. Uh, and, like, supposedly killed him or trapped him in like this impenetrable force field um, mm -hmm. that she was desperately trying to get him out before um, he ran out of uh, like water in his body so that he could because oh. he would like suffocate because he has to have water and oxygen that's wow. how Aqua Baby died Aqua Baby died because um, he had Atlantean and uh, Mira DNA when Black Mana kidnapped the little baby, it put it inside, like, this bubble, and it drained the water from its body, and yeah. the air, basically, just regular air killed the baby. That doesn't make any sense, because wouldn't Aquaman have suffered as a little baby when he was on the surface after he... with his dad? Like, his dad wouldn't even know that he needed him in the water? I don't know. Or they had him in the bathtub all the time, 24-7? Pretty much. Uh, you know how in the movie they showed, like, uh, during an Atlantean war, when the Atlanteans had their helmets exposed on the surface, they would die? Yep. Yeah, so that's pretty much what happened to Aqua Baby. So, the same thing was happening to New 52 Aquaman when Mira was trying to save him, and she was using all her crazy powers, and it was so much to get the attention of the Justice League because she almost flooded the Earth. Like, yeah. she almost flooded the U.S., that would be super dangerous to, like... And she fought Superman in the water. It was kind of cool. Yeah. It didn't last long, Wouldn't though. Wouldn't that be super dangerous, though, to be a, like, a, um, a, you know, a, a, basically an Atlantean soldier and have a suit made filled with water? It's like one one little... If you just, like, accidentally swipe by a thorn Mr. Bush, Freeze syndrome. Or somebody just, like, puts a toothpick in your suit and then, like, pops it and it's over. It's just... Just feels like your suit is just like an accident waiting to happen. It's just so weird. You want to know what's really weird? Did you know that Ludi Lin, the guy from Power Rangers, the Black Ranger, was actually in Aquaman? But huh? I wasn't able to see where he was. Oh. I don't oh. know who he played. He was in the recent movie? Yes. Whoa. I thought he was going to be like Garth or Aqualad or something like that, but. Oh, but he was just there. He's an Atlantean. Oh, wow. And he has some lines, but I'm thinking he must be, like, I think he has to be one of the, uh, the Royal Guard that, like, or, like, Mantis crew or something. Because, I mean, uh. Ludi Lin is a martial artist. He was the only martial artist in the Power Rangers movie. 
Yeah, there was a lot of martial arts in the film, actually. No, there wasn't. I thought it looked Only like the, martial arts to me. The Black Ranger. There was a lot of, like, um... Well, no, I meant the Aquaman movie. Yes, the Aquaman movie has a lot That's of That's what I meant to say. Stop hugging me! It's weird. The hugging is just awkward. So if you guys ever get this far in the game, I strongly recommend that you use the command cross to turn around and attack other people. Because if you're not chipping away at all these other guys' health, then when you're surrounded by all these enemy types, it's going to overwhelm you, you're going to get frustrated, and you're going to say this game is terrible. Now, I'm not saying that this game is a great game. It has a lot of problems. There are invisible walls where you feel like, oh, I can explore this part of Atlantis, and then boom, lo and behold, you're in the middle of nowhere and you can't move forward because it's just an invisible wall. And it looks like there's all this space that you can move around. That's lazy development. Um, there are sometimes points in a game where there will be a cutoff point. Well, you'll know it's a cutoff point because you can't go past that point. There are parts in Aquaman where you can't tell the difference between where the level begins and where it ends. It just looks like it goes on for miles. Yeah. But you can't explore that. One thing I will say about this game, though, it's so unique. Oh, yeah. Dear brother, I knew I would... You would come running at the first sign of trouble. Da -da -da. Orm. Orm, I was wondering when you would show up. State your business with me, brother. I have come to claim what is rightfully mine. The citizens of Atlantis will soon call me king again. Dun, dun, dun. No, they won't. Your pawns can no longer help you. You played your hand too soon, brother. Hmm. I think not. Atlantis will be mine. We will meet again, brother. <laughs> Why are you glowing, Orm? He also has, look at that, he's got like a little goatee thing. Did he fall in some toxic waste? No, he uses like, Ocean Master has a way to make holograms like Shredder. Oh. And some other characters. And Luke Skywalker. Ooh, ooh. And the Emperor from Star Wars. The Emperor also, oh. Your brother. Yes. Sire, Atlantis is still rebuilding. We won't be able to withstand another attack. Precisely why we were attacked to begin with. Are you saying all of the attacks were connected? Duh. Of course. And now we know why Ocean Master, the real mastermind behind these attacks, has finally shown his face. Ocean Master. It's always Ocean Master. My liege, the armory is under attack again, but this time from creatures. What? Did I tell you? I'm on my way. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> I don't know. So here's another problem with this game. Repetitive levels. So now we have to defend the armory for probably the third or fourth time. So they're right. just recycling parts of the game. All right. I have to say this, though. How many games do you know that are actually all underwater, though? Waterworld? That's no. That's a game? It uh, I'm just saying, like, uh, especially for back then, like... Ooh, 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 Bioshock! Bioshock is underwater. Echo the Dolphin. The yeah, Bioshock. Wait, the whole game of Echo the Dolphin is under the water? I thought it comes up to the surface to, like, jump and stuff. Yeah. Aquaman hasn't come You're up to right. the surface You're once. Right. Yeah, Echo does come up to the surface. So the only true water games that we know of is Aquaman and Bioshock. Cool. So there's not that many, so that actually shows this game is pretty unique. Yeah, I could... You know what I'm surprised by? Did you know that Warner Brothers has not released a mobile game for Aquaman? Usually what they do now is they release mobile games for their movie properties. Nothing for Aquaman. I'm serious. I mean, the thing is going to make them a billion dollars and no video game. That is a missed opportunity. Wouldn't they have to make totally different mechanics than your character, like, basically walking on the ground? You'd have to make it with a whole different mechanic system to have them floating constantly. Okay, I'll tell you exactly what I would do with an Aquaman game, how I could make it cool. This stuff is actually cool, but if they could, like, you know, smooth out his attack animations, his super moves are great. Um, yeah. the, the meters are fine and everything like that, but the venue needs to change. The animations need to change. He needs to do something. He needs to go on the surface once in a while. Like, start the game with him, like, saving that submarine, like in the movie. He can go inside the submarine, beat up guys, or swim alongside the sub and attack it. You know, he can go into parts of Atlantis that have water or have air pockets. Yeah. Um, he could 
uh, travel on land, fighting people, diving in the water, um, you know, uh, the stuff that he did in the movie. You could make an entire game about that and actually be really good, you know? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be just this. I mean, they had a great concept for Aquaman. It wasn't executed well. A repetitive gameplay, even with the super moves and some other stuff. It's a playable game. It's not as terrible as a lot of people are telling you. Um, based yeah. on the things that I've discovered how to play it, I'm having no problems using the super moves, um, refilling my uh, super meter, knowing what my meters are. I feel like they put a lot of work into just like the buildings and the... The structures under the water and stuff, the ruins and everything are kind of cool to swim through. Well, right. the, the ruins were cool, but every Atlantis level, it looks pretty much the same. Yeah, just like this. Yeah. It looks like Christmas lights on, you know, Ooh. weird sci-fi buildings. Some of them just look like concrete buildings. These are actually look brighter than most of the Well, this is like our third or fourth time over at the armory. Oh. I would also have, like, when Aquaman summons sea life to, like, change the different sea life that would appear. Not just in one level, but yeah. like, you know, level to level, like, okay, Randomly. one one super move is gonna have, like, Aquaman summon piranhas at you. One oh one gosh. move is gonna have, like, a, a shark headbutt you. Yeah. One move's gonna call an octopus. Wait, does he really summon piranhas? Yeah. That's disturbing. Well, I mean, you know, he's not as nice a guy as everybody thinks Aquaman is. Do you know a fun fact about piranhas? Nope, 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 we can't go that far. <laughs> I know you want to, but we can't. Aww. Not today. Good gentlemen. No, I, I was just gonna say something good about them, though. Like, if you're just, if you're, as long as you're not, like, bleeding or, like, moving a lot in the water, they really won't attack you, supposedly. You wanna, I wouldn't that test my, that. That was my fun fact. Somebody tested it on, like, a History Channel thing, and they just sat in a swimming pool with piranhas and they just sat there and they made sure they didn't have any cuts on their arms and they didn't move and the piranhas swam around them That's and then terrifying. they got out very carefully <laughs> and I was just they were like see as long as you're not thrashing around in the water or have or have a cut on you then they won't actually attack you know what we should I was do like, okay I I you know we should do a spoiler video playing um Injustice and do our Aquaman review. Like, Black Mana versus Aquaman. Oh, yeah. And we do what we I, thought about the movie. I don't I don't really understand. Like, I don't want to give any spoilers about the movie or anything, but in general, I feel like the story of Black Mana in general, like, it's like, okay, he feels he... In general, the, the main lore for Black Mana is... He blames Aquaman for his father's death in the mm -hmm. comics, right? Yep. So, and then in some comics he kills Aquaman's child or whatever. He hasn't he, done that in 30 oh, years. So but. he's all about revenge or whatever. Yep. But it's like, I feel like there's not very much to him. He's just like, he, he blames Aquaman for his, I mean, he has a cool eye thing. But I feel like, I mean, if he's Atlantean and he develops his own technology, that's cool. If he takes Atlantean technology and he's human, I guess that's kind of cool. Like, I just... I want to know more, like, about... Like, I just feel like they don't really flesh out his character very much. Like, like I don't really understand this whole thing with his father and, like, who is his father? Like, like I don't really understand, like, his father is... Like, the whole thing about his father possibly being, like, a marine or, like, one of those people that... You know, like, I don't know. I just... Would, I just want to know, like, how did he get his army of people? Like, I don't really understand. Like, he just disappears out of nowhere. Like, I don't really understand. He has these eyes. It just feels like they don't really talk about it. He's just there just for somebody to fight. I just don't... Well, I mean, in some versions, his laser eyes is stolen Atlantean technology. Yeah. In other versions, I mean, he's like a metahuman. It, it all depends. Yeah, but I feel like... I don't know. It's like... I don't know. It's just... I feel like they should explain more, like, why he's hanging around and doing stuff. Boom! Boom! Anyway. That was, that was kind of fun. Details quickly. We have little time. Uh, by my estimates, only a quarter of the fleet is ready for combat. What about Prince Garth? Despite my better judgment, he is preparing a battalion of troops for battle. Dun, dun, dun! 
dolphins with him. Now, she'll make sure he's okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Bye, was... Atlan. What was that? Oh, my liege, a giant sea beast has risen outside of the dome. Prepare my submarine. What? I don't know what's going on at all. I this uh, no, this, I'm this saying, game is what just weird. What does Black Manta do on his time off? Like he just does nothing important, and then he comes attacks. He Aquaman. listens to music, like in the movie. Okay. What is that? <laughs> My liege, is everything all right? No, there's. Uh, I mean, that thing's harness is preventing my telepathy. My mind powers can't do anything. Ocean Master, precisely. What? What? Okay, now the dialogue's getting hokey. Dun, dun, dun! Mission 16! Awakening! Alright. Oh, okay. This this game is just... I'm just saying, like, Black Man, it doesn't get any other storyline. Like, maybe they should add a love interest for him, or a kingdom where he comes from. Hmm. Something. Like, what? Like, where does... He come from where? If he comes from Atlantis, where does he live in Atlantis? That he obviously sense. doesn't live in Atlant. At, uh, Arthur's. It, it all depends, but you should watch Young Justice on the DC app, and you'll get a lot of your answers explained about like more about Black Manta and Aquaman and stuff like that. Okay. But anyway, people, thank you so much for watching another Aquaman episode. We hope you guys had a lot of fun. We will see you next time as we fight a giant sea, whatever that is, dragon. monster dragon. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, the question was something about if you could live in any of the four oceans, what <laughs> five five as Aquaman, which one would you choose? <laughs> Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our other videos on gaming's Let's Plays. Bye-bye! See ya!